art friends. Hello art friends. Who is ready to see some very large paints? Yeah, this, this, we've got two right. <laughs> How many is in here? 48 colours. Oh my god. Now we have done a video oh on one of, I can't believe we're saying this now, on one of the smaller sets of these, which at the time we yeah, thought was yeah. huge, but would you believe it? They've made the packaging even bigger. This is like 48, that's insane. And we've brought some of the other ones along as well, so we can do like a size comparison. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Now, before I forget, this is from Catherine Anita. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Catherine Anita has also sent me this beautiful hat, complete with a little mushroom. I love the hat, it's cute. <laughs> Look at that. I'm Look really excited because there is a new edition of like pinks and lilacs. It's got like some spring colors thrown in here. I, I'm hoping this is the case because it has been with previous sets that I hope there is. Oh, oh there is. Oh my God, there's two. Oh yeah, wow, that, that is new. They give you two. What I'm talking about is a, a swatch sheet. That's a, that's awesome, actually. I like that it gives you a spare. The Kurotaki set, as you can probably imagine, is Japanese, but it has it in Japanese on the swatch cards and English, so. And I've been learning Japanese since uh, previously, so I'll be able to read some of these. <laughs> Ooh, we like that. Okay, so I want to show you. These are the US paints that we just got. So this is the biggest set. 48. Now we also have the, this was the previous biggest set. Oh, it's, it's a, more square than yeah, the Yeah, this is the newest one and this is the previous one. Gotta be careful holding them up say, so they the don't plastic fall out. thing's not there. So one of the things I'm not saying with these ones mm -hmm. is that um, there's a lot of like plastic in between the pants. Oh yeah, for names and stuff. Yeah, right? it's actually got the names printed on. Whereas on this one, there's no oh, like color no names. Name. So I think that's how they've like saved some extra space. And they've also tilted them the other way in this box. Oh, so, so do you think that's to save room to fit them into a smaller yeah, box? Yeah, because they're almost the same size as each other, even though one of them's got like way more colors than the other. I'll give you a little look of inside this one. You can see that uh, this one's been- What happened to the yellow? What did we do? Hey, you. And inside this one, I'd done all the little swatches for Adam. Oh yeah, oh. This was before I knew any Japanese, so I'd actually like whited out of uh, where all the Japanese was and I'd like stuck it in from the- You stuck it in? See, that's so cool. I'd cut all this out for him and stuck it in the- That means a lot to me. Because, like I mentioned, I've been studying like Japanese mm -hmm. since we last did like a review on like these paints. I feel like there's a lot deeper of a rabbit hole that I can go into with these. On the front of like the box here, Ooh. I just wanted to show you that it says Gan Sai. And individually, this kanji, I'll put up like the dictionary definition oh, thank you, so that you can yes, see it yeah. on the screen. So the uh, gan part uh, alone that can say cow, which means face. And then the sai part says coloring or like paint. So oh. together it's saying face paint. That'd be so confusing. Yes, and this <laughs> really confused me because if you see like how shiny these paints are, it made me think of like, you know, in like, English face paints like the ones that you used at like a children's party. It's not paint far off. Yeah. So for a moment I was like, oh my gosh, have like art YouTubers been using face paints and it's actually, you know, like a completely separate oh, thing. Oh, can you imagine? So I was like, I've got to do research on this because yeah. I can't just leave it off there. So basically, the good news is there are watercolours. Good. But they <laughs> are binded differently to like Western watercolours. So if we put up on screen, in Japan they've also got a word for suisai, which means uh, like watercolour, and that's typically the type of watercolours that we think of mm. if we think of like uh, 
uh, Windsor and Newton watercolour pans or like Schmink watercolour Daniel pans. Daniel Smith and all that. Yeah, so the difference is, is that Western watercolours, they're mostly binded with like gum Arabic, whereas Gansai, there's a lot of usually kind of like a glue binder pigment. Oh, okay. Uh, which tends to be maybe like a gelatin or something that's been boiled down, like fish oh, or okay. something. Oh, okay. Which would make sense, yeah. 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 So I think that explains why they've got such like a shiny sheen to it, so that gluey kind of finish. Yes, yeah, yeah. And one of the reasons as well why the pans are so big on these. I was oh, going to say, those are right chonkers. Yeah, look at the size of this. That's a big boy. Uh, if you think of like the Japanese brushes that they use you need like a lot of space because they're pretty like large thick brushes thick. like a, a little western like water brush for the most part you can fit that it in can tiny get lost little in there. yeah but yeah when it comes to doing things especially uh, like Japanese or like Chinese kind of like calligraphy that's the reason why the they're so big to accommodate so the yeah. bigger brush that's awesome and I also just noticed that when you take these out what are you hiding in there it's got underneath. Um, oh, is there another colorized. swatch thing? Yeah, and then the number is also oh, on that's the awesome. back. That's great. So if you really like one colour, you can replace it and put it in the space that it's supposed to be. I don't know if you can buy replacement pans for them, but it's just so that you know where they go. Like if you take them out, you can be like, okay, this is number like 32. So that's that again, for, for someone like me though, I get it. Just that, that's great. I love I love these. These I think these are my favourite watercolours. I love these things. Something else that I have discovered recently, thanks to my friend Bergie who lives in Germany. Bergie. There is a new set. I don't have them, but I do believe the colours will all be in this. And we'll put that picture up on screen. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. And they're called like spring colours or something. Ooh. And I do believe they're all like the new colours that are gonna be in like this big set in the big we've one got. we've got yeah yeah so i think this new big one it includes the spring colors but there's the smaller one that's got like a lot more like pastels and there's a few like browns okay. greens pinks lilacs and very stuff in you it. so i've picked them out and these are all the colors that are different in this set and i can confirm that these 12 here are all the ones that are in the spring color set oh okay and nice these include uh greenish yellow lime green horizon blue blue grey deep cobalt blue lilac cherry blossom pink rose beige natural beige maroon indian red grey and they've also substituted uh let me just grab it from the other set yeah because they've swapped one round so in the previous set they had this pan that was called silver and in the new one they've replaced it with this one that's called white gold Ooh. i'm not sure why they've swapped the two because i actually think i might prefer the way that the silver looked to this uh white gold i can quickly just show you my swatches i wonder if you can see these okay Let's have a look. Okay, okay, I can see the silver so, there. Yeah, there's my silver. It was like a really nice opaque silver. I quite enjoyed yeah, that. Yeah, that's super. And the white gold is a lot more like Ooh. of a transparent kind of colour. It's a lot more washed out. It's kind of like how the silver was, but more washed out. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I, I don't know why. So I've got a little sketch done and you guys know me, I love to water them down. You're not going to get super duper pigmented, but... Don't worry, I'll do the opposite of this just to show like the, the range. Steph's like, I'll show him. <laughs> I'll show him. So I'm just like trying to basically water it. You guys, you guys know by now how I watercolor things, right? It's like it needs to be really nicely watered down. And he mentioned to me as well that the reason that he's drawn this picture is because um, it's like spring at the moment. It is! Because the colours that have been added to this colour palette are the spring colours. He wanted to do a nice little spring themed colour. A nice little spring themed picture. There we go, yeah, that's what I want to do. And uh, the pink in... This set? In Japanese, yeah, it's called uh, Sakuriro, which is like cherry blossom pink yeah sakura stuff you know so i wanted to have a hold in some kind of like cherry blossom kind of pink flowers that's that's the plan anyway you could even give it like 
cherry blossom pink hair or something. Or... Oh, maybe. I want to leave like a little unpainted areas because I, I like the effect that that gives. Um, that it's like a highlight kind yeah, of. Yeah, the original Pokemon art used to do that. Hmm. I like the like tan Barbie aesthetic. Oh, thank you, dear. I was curious if you guys have tried Kurateki paints yet, because over the years we've done like lots and lots of videos like uh, on them. Have you guys like uh, touched them yet? Because I, again, I don't know why, but I just love these the most. I mean, and we've tried like some really fancy paints like Daniel Smith and Winsor and Newton and stuff. But for some reason, I, I just like these a more. a long time ago, either for like your birthday or Christmas, I got you this little set and it was your first ever set yeah, of this watercolors. One. Maybe that. Maybe that's and what it is. You might have like an emotional attachment to it because of that. When I see, yeah, because when I see like the Kurataki ones, I'm just like, that makes me happy. You and know? also because I put quite a lot of uh, like we were saying. Oh yeah. Effort into how I look at the little swatches. Glued all those in, and because Adam's color blind, I've made like little notes in this one with which colors. <laughs> skin tones. You can use the skin tones. I love that one. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it is. I'm just very very soft. You associate the Karataki colours with love. <laughs> hey, I'm fine with that. <laughs> That's very opaque for me, oh my god. <laughs> Everyone else is like, I can barely see it. <laughs> it's far too opaque. No, 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 no. This is nice. This gives me spring vibes. We've had some really nice, like, springtime weather here recently. Cherry, so it's the... Th oh, wow, I would not have associated... Uh, oh, no, it's this one, isn't it? Oh my god, thank god. Guys, have I told you before I'm colorblind? I have trouble finding colors. <laughs> really? You might find this surprising. And now what I want to do with, oh, look at that pink, that's gorgeous. Look at that, is uh, try and do, you know, just like, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, because what kind of blossoms are perfect really? But, you know, do like uh, an indication almost of some cute little blossomy bits, let's see. As you might have seen, I've got this little wormy friend over here. I love that. And this was sent from Sydney Hannah from our Amazon wishlist. So thank you so much, Sydney Hannah. Oh my God, you're fulfilling Steph's dream of owning more Thai toys. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I wanted this is because I used to have the teeny McDonald's version when I was a kid. Oh. Yeah, and I, I didn't realize that there's like a full size version of him and he's huge. He's I love the size of this thing. I didn't even realize they made Thai toys that big. He's like, <laughs> what is he, like a foot? He's like a foot worm. So I was thinking maybe like um, a gummy worm candy. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, he's kind of got those vibes. He looks like a gummy worm, that Thai toy, yeah. One thing I've noticed that you do, you know, when you draw bugs, you tend to give them noses. <laughs> I like giving them little noses. See, I don't think I'm brave enough to do it like that. It seems too permanent for me. I think I have like watercolor commitment issues. It seems too, it seems too forever. <laughs> I have uh, pencil commitment issues. Commission <laughs> issue. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's because I'm focusing so much. You have that much issue, she can't even say it. Oh, that's going down so smooth. It's worth saying that Steph's using the uh, the Cutman watercolor paper that I got for her birthday. And, uh, yeah, this is my first time using it. Yeah, yeah. It's so hot pressed. I really like it. It looks so smooth. I'm gonna try to get like a really wet patch around here. Oh, is this so you can blend it, hun? Is that what you're doing? And hopefully. I'm excited. I didn't really expect. Well, I kind of did a little bit with mine, but I feel like when it comes to blending colors, you're a lot better at it. So no pressure, but we're all very excited to see. I like that we've both got like different methods for showing like how art supplies are used. Well, that's it's good for you guys because um, although we'd use the art supplies together in all of our videos, we use them very differently. I feel like Steph uses them properly and then you've just got me. Oh, them. there's no proper way to use an art supply. Oh, that's good advice. I like that. <laughs> there is no right and wrong way. As long as you're enjoying yourself, you're doing it right. I'm one of those people where 
uh, you know how there's like the whole like water color like purist sort oh, of no. way. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind if you use these thick and use them more like a gouache or just use them however you want to. You know me guys, go thick or go home. <laughs> if you're gonna go, you might as well go big. You say that, but you water yours down, lads. You're a very uh, oh, water but, colour purist. Oh, but I'm a fan of the thickness. <laughs> oh, okay. I can be an appreciator of the thickness. I'm... Down with the thickness. Yeah, oh, very much so. <laughs> I can't believe how smooth that's going. That must be very decent paper. He, he says as he bought it for a gift for her, but it must be, it must be good because it's going down so smooth. Are you looking for a, a present to pat on the back? No, but to me, and I don't know whether it shows up on camera guys, but to me that could almost pass as like blended markers. Just because of how smooth it's gone down, I really like how it looks. You're so brave with colours. Like with me, I'm like, this, I, I'd be like pooing my pants. No, we don't want you to poo your pants. We don't want to record that on camera. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It almost looks like um, he's like a patchwork worm. And he's like made out of these different coloured like swatch patches. Can you tell it's inspired by my McDonald's worm? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, she's clever. Look at that. You'd say that regardless of anything that is. <laughs> if you fell on this stairs, oh, she's clever. Oh, <laughs> oh how does she do she it? She did three flips. Oh. <laughs> because we are on the topic of Gansai paints right now, it would be a disservice not to show these that we have been sent for the Amazon wish list. <laughs> are we feeling Sammy Moist? <laughs> <laughs> the most cursed paint names ever. I love it. <laughs> Then I feel like these are worthy of their own video at some point. Yeah, oh my god. Guys, the best crafts are semi-moist. <laughs> and so we know this was sent from Chai. Oh, thank you, Chai. Chai, I love your taste in watercolours. <laughs> thank That's you awesome. for the semi-moist watercolours. You might have noticed that Adam's very supportive. I'm supportive of this one. And all of you guys with your art stuff, because... I've, I feel like I've told this story a million times on the channel now, but like, cause Steph taught me how to draw. If we can help inspire you in any way to pick up like a paintbrush or a pencil or, you know, whatever it is that you do. Oh, it always means so much to me when we get people who comment saying that they'd like given up on art because they felt like they weren't good enough and then the Watchtower videos yes. and it inspired them to yeah. like pick it yeah. up again and just have fun. That means like, oh God. To, to feel like you've made an impact like that on someone's life, it's like, it's priceless. It, it, you guys really are the sweetest. We appreciate you so and much. And it's so relatable to me as well because I remember when I was a teenager, I did go through like a year or two where I gave up on art because I was like, I'm never going to be good enough. There's so many people on like DeviantArt who are like on the front page getting daily deviations. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like I get discouraged even now when I'm drawing. Oh, I think everyone does because we're all good at like different things. So for example, I might get discouraged looking at someone who does a lot of like photorealism stuff because yeah, that's that not really, really yeah. my kind of like barrel of fish, so mm -hmm. to say. Whereas like Adam might feel like that with someone who does things with like more colour based things. Sometimes I do, yeah. That's a really good point. Yeah. Oof. Thank God there's someone eloquent here. Oh you're eloquent. You're very good with your words, son. And with paint too. Look how good that's looking. Mm. If you've enjoyed this, then you will probably enjoy our other Kurataki video. Because which I we've got a lot. Screen. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another Doodle Date. Doodle Date!